Well, hello there, Pisces. It looks like there's something you just can't unsee in the relationship that you're in, and it causes you to spring into action. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Pisces tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energy. Let's dig in to see what sort of thing we have for you today. If you're interested in the extended or in personal readings, there's links to both in the description box below. Nebula Warrior, my gray Jedi card. 17 reduced to an eight. Someone who has learned to use their journey through darkness constructively. Ooh. This is the third time this card has come out in a row. Number 29 reduced to an 11 number of mastery. The Joker is wild. Because you've learned what you have learned in the dark. Okay. It's prepping you for a lucky streak. Life will throw a wild card in your direction. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Then show me what's going on with Pisces, please. Show me what's going on, Pisces, please. Show me what's going on, Pisces, please. You could have lost a relationship with the Scorpio, but um, it's not really a loss, or at least you don't really look at it as a loss because of how little you were getting out of it. Walking away. There we go. Eight of Cups. Strength card of Leo. Judgment. Four of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Magician. This person really had a hold on you. I'm reading this is you. This is them. This is the situation. You walking away. You wondering if you have what it takes yet to actually exit this particular cage. Okay. Um, really making sure all I's are dotted and T's are crossed before you say anything. Um, I do feel like this person had some some form of control over you in the extent where the control they had over you slowed your progress just in general. Because if you evolved more, if you did better, then they couldn't hang with you vibrationally. Okay. So their karma is coming to roost. Okay, that's that's a judgment call. Their karma is coming into roost for the control they tried to maintain over you. Okay. This feels incredibly manipulative. Okay. Let's get into the details of the Eight of Cups, the situation, please. Details, please. Hmm. Ace of Wands. Nine of Swords. Okay. This person could have even cheated on you and made it sound like it was your fault. <laughs> Because a light bulb goes on for you where you're like, what am I doing in this? Okay, what am I doing in this? I don't have to put up with this. And you are correct. You are completely and totally correct. Show me the strength card for Pisces, please. Scorpio energy there again. Your heart is already moving towards someone on someone else. Empress card of Taurus and Libra. There is something in my eye. Okay. That's gone. Okay. There's like the moment you decide you're done here, your heart immediately knows where it wants to go. Immediately knows. Okay. Show me the four of pentacles for Pisces, please. 
Justice, card of Libra, seven of cups, five of cups, eight of pentacles. Hmm. Ah, I've held back from balancing up with this particular empress because I'm not sure how, given how the connection was lost. I'm hearing for someone it was lost based on a technicality, whatever that means to you. Okay. Okay. Show me the eight of swords for Pisces, please. Ten of pentacles, sour, Scorpio, energy, four of cups. You're seeing how you missed a chance with this person by being detained, essentially, mentally, emotionally, energetically detained by this person. You're, and it's not just the opportunity with this empress. You're just seeing the opportunities of building Ten of Pentacles, long-term stable situation. It could have been just for yourself. You could have lost a business deal because of this person. Sure. Sure. Let's get into them. Let's see what they're about, even though we, you know, we already know, right? Show me judgment for them, please. Three of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Chariot Card of Cancer. In order to distract you away from this empress, this person would um, interrupt, interrupt your connection with them in order to take them on a trip or take them somewhere. Cancer energy with the chariot. And someone to specifically spend a lot of money on something really nice. Anytime they felt you beholden to this empress, they would bring you back to them by, let's go to Santa Barbara for the weekend. Like now. Okay, bye. Uh, uh, wait, uh, yeah. Show me the Knight of Pentacles, please. Oop, okay. Tower, Scorpio energy. Yep. Their ruse has been seen through. Death card of Scorpio, it's over. Ace of Wands. You can't unsee it. Ace of Wands, Ace of Wands. Holy shit, what am I doing? You can't unsee it. The level of deception. You cannot. Show me the magician, please. Eight of Swords, Five of Cups. Huh. <laughs> That's funny. Um, they really bit the hand that fed them, huh? Capricorn energy there on the bottom. <clears throat> Excuse me with the devil. They really bit the hand and fed them. That fed them. Like, especially if you cash flowed your lives kind of thing. Um, they've got nothing to fall back on. They don't have the stability that you provided. They don't. They don't have it on their own. Okay. They don't. Okay. Million dollar question. Who is this empress, please? This could have been a third party, sure. Scorpio, Taurus, Libra, Four of Swords, Wheel of Fortune. Ah, so that was an inner child wound for this empress. That, that was a third party wound for this empress. Not being given enough attention generously. The, the, the self-love, self-worth was off. Show me the rest of the six of coins. Five of swords. This has made this empress withhold from taking risks that would have up-leveled their life sooner. Okay. Um, I'm even hearing imposter syndrome. Fighting, fighting with imposter syndrome as well. Uh, strength is Leo energy. There is risks and whatnot that were on path for them to take to up-level their lives, okay? Um, but there was a self-worth wound that either allowed them to stay in connection with you for too long um, and being given scraps of affection along the way or attention along the way. And there was also 
career opportunities that they missed. Does it mean they'll never come around again? No. They could always come back around, especially if you manifest them, which I highly recommend. So this is a whole bit of healing that she has had to do on her own to become and stay empress. So what does Pisces want to happen with this empress? Devil, star, ace of coins, Capricorn, Aquarius, Leo. Energy. You want to see them again. Aquarius energy there with the king of swords as well. You, you also see them on similar footing. King of Swords, King of Wands, Six of Cups. You see them on similar footing, like similar respect. You fear that the opportunity to do this um, is gone, but you still want it very much. Uh, how would this Empress receive Pisces showing up? Okay, I don't need a third of the deck, y'all. Just a couple cards is good. <laughs> Ouch. It would hurt a little bit. Three of Swords, Emperor, Moon. Yeah, it would hurt their heart a little bit. Hmm. They may lash out at you after being very quiet. The lashing out could be the first response because it feels like they're holding everything in. Pisces energy there with the moon. Um, so if you're okay with that, you got to be okay with that because it looks like she's going to, like, how dare you? But you want this Ace of Pentacles. So, all right. I'm going to head over the extended. I will get into this Empress because this one gets to go get a job. <laughs> I'll see what's going on with this empress in her current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye.